So I'm going to talk to you about the biggest scam anyone's ever seen. And honestly, this video might get either demonetized, shadow banned, or taken down. So try and watch it as quickly as you possibly can and just take in the information, um, keep it for life, and potentially don't publicly talk about it because <laughs> you don't want to get cancelled yourself. However, I'm going to be mentioning something. I'm going to be very careful with the words that I use because obviously I don't want the video to get flagged for anything, but certain vaccines, certain years, such as 2020, for example, there's certain things that happened that made people start to realize, ah, you know what, the pharmaceutical industry, the doctors, the hospitals, uh, and the government, of course, are maybe not as truthful as you once thought they were. And I'm gonna explain exactly why that is in just a second. So everything in this world, literally everything, is from schools to doctors to hospitals to everything else. It's all monetarily motivated, okay? It's all a business. The pharmaceutical industry is a business. When they sell you well, drugs, obviously medicated drugs and, and prescribed drugs for certain symptoms, that is a business. They're making money from that, okay? Now, if you actually had the cure to something that was making you a shit ton of money, would you sell the cure? If you were only business motivated, let me just ask you this question. If you were only money motivated, you didn't actually care about the humanity, you didn't actually care about people, you didn't actually care about solving their issues or solving their diseases and infections and symptoms and everything else, right? You don't really care about the virus that they're catching. All that you care about is money. And you actually know the cure to these diseases and infections. Do you really think that you're going to give the people the cure and then eliminate a customer for life. Because if they've cured the thing that they're struggling with, they never need to come back to you for antibiotics or any of this other bullshit, do they? Because you've cured it, they're good now. They can go and enjoy their life. They don't have to spend money on your business anymore. So you ain't gonna give them the cure, are you? What you're gonna do is you're gonna drip feed them false hope. And the way that they do that is with the pharmaceutical industry. So. I'll give you an example. Let's say you have a disease and you go to, we're gonna get into the uncurable shit in a second because that's even bigger scam, but let's say you go to the doctors, right? And you have a disease or you have an infection or you have this virus that keeps flaring up. You have something that keeps annoying you, right? In your body, there's something wrong in your body. Your homostasis, it's out of whack, right? What they're gonna do is they're gonna just give you antibiotics. They're gonna try and identify the symptoms, not the cure. Listen to what I'm saying very carefully here. They're gonna identify the symptoms. So, oh, it's irritating, it's itchy, it's inflamed, it's rashy and red, whatever, right? My skin is infected and this is happening or something. They're gonna try and identify what the symptoms are and then they're gonna find you a drug or an antibiotic or a pill to sell you, to give you, because you have to pay for antibiotics, right? They're gonna give you that and say, here, take these. This will cure you. This will fix your disease and infection. You're going to take them and it's going to work. But what you don't understand on a deeper layer level is it's not actually solving the issue. It's just masking the symptoms. Okay. So you have these symptoms. Let's say you've got a skin infection. The symptoms are your skin flares up. It gets red and rashy. Okay. They're going to give you antibiotics, which you pay for because they're a business and it gets rid of these rashy flares on your skin. Okay. It masks it. But guess what? The moment you stop taking those antibiotics, it's going to come back again. So you know what you have to do? Is be in this never-ending loop of constantly buying more antibiotics because I have a skin infection. And you believe that's the only way to cure it. Because obviously, why would they tell you anything else? Why would they actually tell you how to cure it? Because they're not going to make any money. They want to keep you in this drip-fed loop of... Oh, the antibiotics work. It's the only thing that's ever worked. Cool. I'll try that. Oh, I got rid of it. Well, I need to buy more now. They're going to feed you that information and because you believe it. This is a very key word, belief. You've probably heard of the placebo effect before. The placebo effect is basically when you believe something to be true, your body responds to it as if it is. So I could give you uh, a glass of non-alcoholic wine. Now I could tell you that it's alcoholic. I could tell you that it's got 50% alcohol. It's crazy, but there's a lot of alcohol. You know, it's very strong. I could give you this and I could say, yeah, drink it, bro. It's the strongest shit I've ever had got like 50% alcohol and it gets you drunk so quickly. You drink it and because you believe what I've said, you start to feel symptoms in your body. And again, symptoms, right? You start to feel as if you were getting a little bit drunk or a bit tipsy. You start to feel like hey, a bit of a buzz. You start to maybe activate drunk. You start to actually genuinely get drunk because you believe that what you're drinking is getting you drunk. And this goes to show the power of the mind. And I'm going to touch on how your mind can actually cure 
your infections, diseases, and other bodily problems in just a second. But that just goes to show the power of it. That's literally scientifically proven, by the way. That's not me just chatting shit. You can go and Google this yourself, the placebo effect. Go and Google it and go and Google what it does to the nervous system and to the body and to the cells, right? Your mind impacts the way your body responds to the world around it. Even though that wine had no alcohol in it at all, it was non-alcoholic. Just because you believe that it was, you get drunk from it, right? This has happened plenty of times before, and this happens in the pharmaceutical industry as well. So what do we do about this? When you take an antibiotic, it kills all the bacteria in your gut. And they always say, it's a very cliche term, it's absolutely true. Most diseases, most problems, most things that happen with your body that are negative start in the gut. Acne starts in the gut. We teach you, we have a full health protocol, a natural health protocol down below in my school. You can join my school of life for literally a little bit over $3 a day, which is nothing. You can join for $3 a day and you can get access to information that I can't share on here because it literally would get taken down. But we basically teach you how to cure acne and all other health issues that you could potentially be struggling with. Even the ones that you've been told are uncurable. We will teach you how to basically bring your body into a state of balance, of equilibrium, okay, of cellular health, because it's all about the deeper layer level to it. And this is what I'm trying to say. You take an antibiotic, it kills all the bacteria, the good and the bad. Your body needs both, by the way. It has constant bad bacteria and good bacteria in the body all the time. What happens is the bad bacteria flares up due to your lifestyle, your diet, your mindset. We just spoke about the placebo effect, right? If you're one of these people that thinks, oh, but you know, uh, my family's got this genetic disease or, you know, I don't know, I've always been unhealthy, I've had a bad immune system, I'm, I'm getting old, I'm weak, I'm cold. If you constantly tell yourself this shit all the time, you know, I'm weak, I'm tired, I get ill easily, and you feed into that, your body's going to start to react to that. And your cells will literally mold to that subconscious belief. I have a, a condition called chronic lung disease because I was born three months premature, three months early. And the only thing that I got from it that was bad in terms of my health was chronic lung disease. Now, I've never struggled with anything in terms of my respiratory system, my breath or anything like that. I've never struggled with it ever. Thanks to my mum, she brought me up with this you know, very good mindset. And obviously I learned a bit more on a scientific level, but I just never fed into it. I just believed, yeah, I'm the fucking man, I'm strong. I don't give a shit. Chronic lung disease, it's gay, bro. I'll be fine, I'll just run it off, you know, I'll mindset it away. I used to believe that and I've never had any problems. I used to run 10 miles every single day non-stop like no stopping halfway just 10 miles being like fucking terminator bro there's never had any problems with my health I'm, I'm in good shape i'm healthy i can run forever strong like no problems at all and i actually have chronic lung disease now imagine if the other version of me fed into that oh i'm ill all the time well i can't run i'm never gonna run i'm never gonna go gym because i have chronic lung disease so i may as well just sit at home and eat doritos all day of course i'm gonna feel like shit that's all i tell myself every single day if you look in the mirror and you tell yourself you're ugly every day, you're gonna to start to notice things that make you ugly. You're gonna to start to notice things that confirm that bias. So you may as well just tell yourself the good shit. Okay, and it's the same with health. So back to the antibiotics, it kills off all the bacteria. And what this does is it obviously eliminates the bad bacteria which has flared up due to your lifestyle, health or mindset and everything else, right? Now you think, oh, it's cured it, it's gone. It hasn't, it's just masked the symptoms. The cure of that, Oh, sorry, the cause of that disease, the thing that, cu that caused it in the first place, can't fucking speak, bro. Let's have some hydration, bro. I'm spitting too many facts. Matrix attacks kicking in. Right, let's try that again. The cause of that infection, disease, or virus, the thing that caused it in the first place, whether it's your diet, your lifestyle, your mindset, okay, what you do on a daily basis, the shitty tap water that you're drinking with fluoride in it, Okay, everything else is kind of fast food, processed food, all this shit, okay? The fact that you don't get any vitamin D or go outside ever because you believe the sunscreen scam. All of these things could affect and could cause your body and bad bacteria in your gut and other areas of your body to flare up and cause certain symptoms such as irritation, rashes, inflammation, all of these things, okay? You're gonna mask the symptoms so they're not gonna be there anymore because you've taken an antibiotic that's killed all of your bacteria, the good and the bad, okay? And now your gut microbiome is out of whack. It's unbalanced, it's fucked basically because you've just killed off all your bacteria. And you need good bacteria in your body and you also need some degree of bad bacteria as well, right? The yin and yang, and that goes for your body too. You need both. So instead of curing the cause 
that has led to this disease in the first place. You're just masking the symptoms so you feel better in the moment. You're not actually addressing the problem, which oftentimes is you eat like shit, or you never exercise, or you never outside. You never do, you don't go, you don't leave the house and you wonder why your body's fucking shutting down and eating itself. You don't go outside where you have no vitamin D. You're iron deficient because you don't eat any fucking meat. Okay, vitamin B, vitamin K, all of these things, take your fucking vitamins and do it properly. Natural, organic, grass-fed meat, organic fruits and vegetables, okay? Proper, real, clean food. Don't just, obviously vitamins are cool, but I've got vitamins back here. But you don't wanna rely on them as your main intake of vitamins. You wanna make sure that 90% of the nutrients and the goodness that you're getting in your body is from the real, natural world around you, from the wild. Sunshine, this, I'm not even gonna to get too deep into this because this video literally will get banned. The skin cancer scam is another big one, okay? You know, melanin, melatonin, and also vitamin D3, you get all of those from the sun, but you only get them if your sun is in direct contact, or sorry, if your skin is in direct contact with the sun, okay? That means no sun cream. You need to be in the sun, or at least in the daylight, which you can still get vitamin D from the daylight, and obviously the sun's always out, sometimes it's just clouded. You can still get vitamin D though. So you need to be out in daylight at least 15 minutes every single day with no sun cream on, okay? And this is good for your bones, it's good for your skin, it's good for your immune system, it's good for your gut, it's good for all of these things. Melanin, melatonin, and vitamin D3, those three things actually cure, not cure, but they actually prevent cancer, in particular skin cancer, okay? Whereas you've been told that going in the sun creates skin cancer, Obviously, if you're burning, you're damaging the skin cells, of course, right? But just don't burn, just don't stand in the sun all day. You only need 15 minutes of natural, pure sunshine on the skin. No sun cream. Go outside, get the sun on your skin, bask in it, sun gaze in your eyes as well. It's very good for you. Obviously, don't stare at the sun, but just get the sun reflecting onto your eyes. It's very good for you. It wakes you up, it activates your circadian rhythm. All of these things, bro, it's absolutely amazing for you. And you've been told, well, you need sun cream all the time. If you ever go outside without sun cream, you're gonna get fucking skin cancer and die of AIDS. It's not true, bro. Go outside, get some actual natural daylight on your skin, like proper in contact with your skin. Your ancestors, bro, you think your body has adapted and it's evolved to, to be outside. If you were gonna die instantly of skin cancer from just being outside in the world of mother nature around you, then we wouldn't have lived very long, would we? Your ancestors were running around naked in the fucking desert all day, basking in the sunshine, and they were fine. Do you know what I mean? They were more deaf from saber-toothed tigers than they were fucking skin cancer, bro. So chill out. It's not that deep, okay? The, see, the, the rabbit hole goes so deep, though. There's certain layers to it that's so crazy. And we teach you all of this in terms of natural health and how you can cure these things completely naturally. Diet, cold showers, right? Cold showers reduce inflammation. The cold therapy on your skin reduces inflammation of the nervous system and the skin cells which can obviously cure diseases, infections, and viruses, because that's what these are. They're just inflammations, okay? Gut health, fasting. We teach you how to fast correctly. Absolutely amazing. If you fast for more than 24 hours, your body completely detoxes, and it goes into a state where it almost regenerates cells. Absolutely fucking insane. It completely detoxes the gut. We also teach you heat therapy as well, using things such as sauna, steam room, etc. It's not just good enough to just sit in there and say, yep, I've done it for the day. There's certain breath work, there's certain mindsets, and there's certain things you need to do with these cold showers and heat therapy and sunshine and exercise and everything else, diet, fasting, that we teach you inside of my school in the bio down below. Join the School of Life for a little over $3 a day and we will teach you exactly how to do this. I literally can't put it onto YouTube. I would if I could, believe me. I'm sharing this much and this is fucking revolutionary, right? Many of you guys don't even know this shit. And I could absolutely get my channel banned for this, okay? So I have to put it inside of the school. You might be like, well, why are you charging for it? I have to put it into school. I don't have a choice. I'm going to get banned otherwise, okay? So a little over $3 a day. You can join. We have a complete dedicated health and fitness classroom that will teach you natural diet, what foods to eat, how to exercise correctly in terms of your goals. If you want to build muscle, we teach you how to trigger hypertrophy. If you want to build strength, we teach you how to do that. Everything's covered, bro. We teach you how to become a competent, self-sufficient young man in every single realm of life inside the school of life, okay? So back to the point then, you're taking antibiotics, okay? You're curing the symptoms, that's great. You feel better, now you, th now you think it's worked, great. But you know what happens? And this is, happens all the time, people with skin infections, people with diseases, people with certain viruses, they cure it, at least they think so, and then it comes back again a, a week later, a month later, or six months later, or a year later, it comes back again, the exact same problem. 
And you're thinking, well, I cured it. Why is it coming back? Well, because your lifestyle needs to change. It's all natural. Strip it back naturally. Forget about these drugs and these pills and these antibiotics and all this bullshit. Natural is the way to go, okay? Talk about skincare, having smooth skin, no spots and all this shit. People always ask me, how do you act your skin so smooth? What's your skincare routine? You know what I do? I wake up in the morning, I wash my fucking face with cold water because heat dries out the skin and the natural oils in the skin. So I wash my face with cold water. I take cold showers. I keep my hair nice and healthy with the cold showers, okay? I have a natural, healthy lifestyle. I'm outside all the time, getting vitamin D. I'm eating clean, organic, grass-fed meat, organic fruits, organic vegetables, okay? And I train hard in the gym. That's it, I drink loads of water as well. I'm always hydrated, my piss is always clear. That's it, that's my skincare routine. I don't wait and spend four hours every day putting every single fucking cream and moisturizer I can. All that shit's a scam, bro. That's another scam. Let's not even get into that, that's a completely different day. A skincare scam. You don't need none of that shit. When you put moisturizer in your skin, it dries out your skin oils, but it temporarily, again, masks the symptoms. It masks the dry skin, it masks the acne, whatever it is you're trying to cover up, right? but it's not curing the root cause of what that acne is actually being caused by, which again, can even start in the gut. It can start by your diet, your lifestyle. You having a spot on your skin is the skin's way of trying to heal itself. You've done something wrong for your skin to have spots, right? These aren't spots, it's a fucking shaving cut, bro, but still. If you have a spot on your skin, it's your body trying to heal itself. So you have to ask yourself, what have I done that could be potentially negatively impacting my health in the past couple of weeks, days, whatever? Have I drank too much alcohol? Have I ate too much shit food? Have I not been outside enough? Have I been lowering my testosterone because I'm watching too much porn? What is it? Find it out, okay? And then deal with it. It's all about natural. Strip it back, figure out what the natural cause is, solve that, fix your fucking diet, exercise every single day, do plenty of cardio, plenty of weightlifting, plenty of stretching and mobility, bro. Fucking stretch every single day, right? Get your legs up on the side. Let me show you this shit real quick. Let's do some stretches while I talk to you, okay? Be mobile, yeah? Stretch. Boom, get the leg up, all right? Move the body a little bit, okay? I promise you, you'll feel 10 times better. And all of these things that you're struggling with every single day, these skin issues, these diseases, these infections, all this shit will be solved so much easier if you can just live a natural, healthy lifestyle and you stop relying on drugs and antibiotics and run into the doctor for every little thing. I had a skin condition or a skin infection once and I swear to this day, I still think it was scabies, bro. <laughs> anyway, I had some sort of fucking skin infection, right? And it was on my back initially, and it was itchy. And it was like a cluster of spots, a cluster of loads of little spots together. And I thought, oh, at first I, I couldn't see it. It was just itchy, so I thought it was like a mosquito bite or something, right? It was one little spot at the start. Then it started to expand, and it was like loads of little spots on my back, and it was itchy as fuck. And every single time I'd, I'd forget about it, I'd itch it, I'd go, oh shit, you know, it hurts. Then what started happening is naturally as I itched it, whatever this was, and I just naturally, you know, like touch other parts of my body, it spread to other parts of my body. So it was on my abs, it was on my chest area, it was fucking everywhere, bro. There's was just this weird cluster of spots, itchy fucking dry spots everywhere. And I was like, okay, this definitely ain't a mosquito bite, what the fuck is this? Because at the time I used to lie in the fields, in the park near my old house on the council estate, and just bask in the sunshine and record videos for you boys. And, you know, I'd lie in the grass with my back on the grass. And I thought, oh, it was probably just mosquito bite, insect bite, something like that. But no, it wasn't. It was some sort of skin infection or scabies or some bullshit. Anyway, this was spreading. And at the time, I was working a normal nine to five job. And I remember I was going to work and I had this shirt on, this uniform on, and it was tight. And, oh, mate, I could feel the spots like, like fucking getting tight around the, oh, bro, it was horrible. Anyway, <laughs> went to the doctor. Not my bad, bro. Went to the doctor and he said to me, yeah, you're gonna need a cream. You're gonna need something to, to cure this. You know, you're gonna need like some, some pill, some sort of cream. You're gonna need something for it. I'm like, okay, no problem. How much is the cream? I was like, oh, it's like 10 pounds. 10 fucking quid. Fuck up. At the time I was broke, right? No money. I was in my overdraft. I had like minus money in the bank. So I was like, fuck that. I'm not buying any fucking cream. And I also had this natural mindset for, for the, my whole life anyway. So even when COVID was coming around and all that, I've got to be careful what I say, but you know what I mean? I didn't take no vaccine, no masks, none of this bullshit. Like, bro, I'm a strong young man. I don't need a vaccine to stop me from getting a cold. Anyway. I went to the doctors, they told me I needed cream. I went back home, didn't take the cream. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna fix this myself. I don't know what the fuck this is. But they said, yeah, you need cream to solve it. It's not gonna go by itself. I was like, let me show you. 
got in the cold shower because cold shower is amazing for reducing inflammation. And a lot of these red rashes and spots and anything else that's usually red in color is inflammation, okay? So it's the skin being inflamed, basically. It's the skin kind of on fire. It's trying to tell you there's something wrong there. And again, that's what a spot is. It's telling you something's wrong. It's trying to heal itself by inflammation. So you go in the cold shower, take the cold shower, like as cold as you possibly can. I'm talking freezing cold, bro, like turn it all the way. Put it on the areas and just have an actual cold shower like you normally would anyway. The cold is just so much better for you. But in particular, put it on the areas that are infected, right? Boom, boom, boom. And bro, instantly, started to decrease i literally just held it there like almost icy it was numb afterwards i couldn't even feel that area of my body because i just doused it in cold water i fasted as well for like 48 hours nearly three days straight just complete fast all i was doing was drinking water no food nothing my stomach was absolutely dying i felt lightheaded you know my stomach was rumbling constantly i was out of breath like bro it was it was, it was fucked man but it was good and that's what my body needed it needed a complete detox Okay, the fasting detoxed me. So it got rid of all the bad bacteria, the bad cells, the bad shit that was, wasn't supposed to be in the toxins, basically, that was causing it, that wasn't supposed to be in my body. The fasting did that. The cold shower reduced the inflammation of the skin itself and just toned it down a little bit, calmed down the infection. And on top of that, when I did start to break my fast, I just ate very, very clean, right? Organic fruits, vegetables, grass-fed meat, etc., And I did loads of cardio because cardio just solves fucking everything. Just run. Whenever you've got a problem, just run. <laughs> cardio is amazing because it makes the oxygen flow better, the blood flow better, and it just keeps your heart healthy, and it makes everything just regulate. You're, it's an entire body workout, right? You're running, the whole body is moving. It's, it's amazing for you, and it just keeps you in a very good, balanced, healthy state of being. So I did that. That's the only, that's the only things I did. Fasting for a long period of time, three days, I think, maybe at, at most. Cold showers every single day. Plenty of vitamin D, so I was just outside all day again in the sunshine and then just basking in because vitamin D is amazing for your immune system and it just cures a lot of things anyway. And obviously diet, sort my diet out and um, cardio, plenty of exercise. Before you knew it, completely gone. My mum came into my room, I was living with my parents at the time. She came into my room and she was like, what have you done? How have you actually done that? Like, be serious, how have you actually done that? I was like, oh, I just took cold showers, innit? I was joking with her at first. And she was like, no, be serious, how have you actually done that? And I was like, no, I literally just took cold showers. I did a crazy fast for like two hours, two hours, two days, 48 hours. And um, yeah, just loads of exercise, loads of sunshine, drank loads of water, cool, back in the game. You know, like, that's honestly a lot of the time, it's just, it's, it's one little lifestyle habit that you've got. It's one natural thing that needs solving that you can easily fix just by tweaking your lifestyle a little bit and doing things a bit differently. And boom, all your health problems are sorted. And it's the same with attractiveness as well. A lot of guys are trying to do things over the top for attractiveness. You want to be attractive, just be healthy. Health is attractiveness. If you're healthy, you have less body fat, your jawline's more chiseled, okay? You can see it more, your cheekbones are nicer, your skin's clearer, your teeth are healthier, your hair's healthier. Everything's better. You're in good shape, so your body looks good. Health equals attractiveness, okay? So I want you guys to understand the pharmaceutical scam. Don't feed into this bullshit. You don't need no doctors. Sort your life out. Educate yourself correctly with my school of life down below. I look forward to welcoming you inside. Take care.